How long did dinosaurs actually survive after the asteroid? When most people hear about the extinction of the dinosaurs, they imagine a dramatic, almost instantaneous event. 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid, roughly 10 kilometers, six miles wide, crashed into Earth near the Yucatan Peninsula in present-day Mexico. This catastrophic impact unleashed an unimaginable amount of energy, equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs, triggering wildfires, earthquakes, tsunamis, and global climate changes. But contrary to popular belief, the extinction of the dinosaurs wasn't instantaneous. Some dinosaurs likely survived for months, years, or even longer after the asteroid struck, and the story of their final days is far more complex than it seems. So guys, before we dive into the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for more video. The day the sky fell. The asteroid's impact formed the Chicxulub crater, over 150 kilometers wide, instantly vaporizing everything at ground zero. The energy released sent shockwaves through the Earth's crust, causing massive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. In the immediate vicinity, all life was obliterated, but the effects of the impact weren't confined to the crash site. They rippled across the globe. The explosion sent an enormous amount of debris into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and creating what scientists call an impact winter. For months and perhaps years, Earth was shrouded in darkness. Temperatures plummeted as sunlight, crucial for photosynthesis, was drastically reduced. Without sunlight, plant life began to die off, and with it, the herbivorous dinosaurs that depended on those plants for food. The carnivorous dinosaurs that preyed on the herbivores soon followed. A gradual extinction. Although the asteroids set the stage for the end of the dinosaurs, their extinction wasn't instantaneous. Fossil evidence suggests that some dinosaurs survived the immediate aftermath of the impact, particularly in regions farther from the blast zone. These survivors would have faced an increasingly inhospitable world. The nuclear winter conditions created freezing temperatures and acid rain that poisoned water sources. Food chains collapsed as ecosystems disintegrated. Scientists believe that small, isolated populations of dinosaurs may have found refuge in areas less affected by the immediate aftermath of the asteroid. For example, regions shielded by mountains or far from the impact site might have provided temporary havens. These dinosaurs likely scavenged on decaying plant material, dead animals, or whatever food they could find. However, as environmental conditions worsened, even these survivors were doomed. The Timeline of Survival the exact timeline of the dinosaur's extinction is a subject of ongoing research and debate. Fossil evidence indicates that most non-avian dinosaurs disappeared within a few thousand years of the asteroid impact. However, some studies have suggested the possibility of isolated dinosaur populations surviving for tens of thousands of years in remote areas. These claims are controversial and not widely accepted, as the fossil record for this period is sparse and difficult to interpret. For example, a 2020 study proposed that some dinosaur fossils found in what is now Colorado may date to a few hundred thousand years after the asteroid impact. However, critics argue that these fossils may have been redeposited from older sediments, meaning the dinosaurs did not actually survive that long. The debate highlights the challenges paleontologists face in reconstructing events from tens of millions of years ago. Did dinosaurs survive in Antarctica? One of the more intriguing ideas is that dinosaurs might have survived longer in regions like Antarctica, which was much warmer during the Cretaceous period. At the time, Antarctica was covered in forests and home to diverse ecosystems. Some scientists speculate that dinosaurs living in these remote, less affected regions could have endured the impact's aftermath for a longer time. However, there is no direct fossil evidence to support this theory. Antarctica's potential role as a refuge for dinosaurs highlights the limitations of the fossil record. Fossilization is a rare process, and fossils from remote or harsh environments like Antarctica are especially difficult to find. This makes it challenging to determine whether isolated populations of dinosaurs survived longer than their counterparts elsewhere. The avian survivors. While non-avian dinosaurs met their end, one group managed to survive and thrive the avian dinosaurs, or birds. Birds were already well-established by the late Cretaceous period, 
and their small size, ability to fly, and diverse diets made them uniquely suited to endure the asteroid's aftermath. Unlike their larger relatives, birds could scavenge for seeds, insects, and other food sources that were still available in the devastated landscape. Birds also had another advantage, their reproductive strategies. Many modern birds lay multiple eggs and have relatively short lifespans, allowing populations to recover quickly in favorable conditions. These traits likely helped them survive the harsh post-impact environment and adapt to the rapidly changing world. Today, birds are considered the direct descendants of theropod dinosaurs, a group that includes iconic species like Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. Every bird you see, from pigeons in city streets to eagles soaring through the sky, is a living testament to the resilience of the dinosaur lineage. What about other survivors? Dinosaurs weren't the only victims of the asteroid impact. The event caused the extinction of about 75% of all species on Earth, including many marine reptiles, flying pterosaurs, and ancient plants. However, some groups managed to survive and even thrive in the aftermath. Mammals, for example, were small and adaptable, allowing them to survive in burrows and feed on a wide variety of foods. Crocodilians also endured, likely because they could survive long periods without food and relied on aquatic ecosystems that were less affected by the asteroid's impact. Amphibians, fish, and insects were other groups that managed to persist through the extinction event, paving the way for the recovery of life on Earth. Could dinosaurs have survived? Some speculative theories propose that if isolated populations of dinosaurs survived longer than currently believed, they might have evolved in unique ways. For example, could they have developed traits to adapt to the post-impact world, such as smaller sizes or scavenging behaviors? And if they had survived into the age of mammals, how would they have interacted with early human ancestors? While these ideas are fascinating to consider, there is no concrete evidence to support them. The fossil record shows no signs of non-avian dinosaurs existing beyond the KPG boundary, and any claims of prolonged survival are highly controversial. The legacy of dinosaurs. Even though non-avian dinosaurs disappeared, their legacy continues to captivate scientists and the public alike. The asteroid impact that ended their reign was also a turning point for life on Earth, clearing the way for mammals to diversify and eventually dominate terrestrial ecosystems. Without the extinction of the dinosaurs, humanity as we know it might never have evolved. Moreover, the study of the KPG extinction provides valuable insights into the potential impacts of large-scale environmental changes, such as those caused by asteroid impacts or climate change. By understanding the events that led to the dinosaurs' extinction, scientists can better prepare for and mitigate similar threats in the future. How long did dinosaurs really survive? So how long did dinosaurs actually survive after the asteroid? The answer depends on how we define survival. Most non-avian dinosaurs likely perished within a few thousand years of the impact, though some may have hung on in isolated areas for slightly longer. However, their avian descendants, the birds, survived and thrived, ensuring that the dinosaur lineage continues to this day. The extinction of the dinosaurs was not a single moment but a complex and gradual process shaped by environmental devastation and biological adaptation. By piecing together the clues left behind in the fossil record, scientists are continually uncovering new details about this pivotal chapter in Earth's history. And while the non-avian dinosaurs are gone, their story is far from over. It lives on in the birds we see around us, in the fossils we uncover, and in our enduring fascination with the giants that once ruled the Earth. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the history of life on Earth.